Hello, hello, my dear students. How are you? Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Can you listen to hello, me? Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, everybody. How are you? How is your day going? Good, bad, so so. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So welcome everybody, welcome Mauricio, welcome Roberto, that I can see the camera, but I cannot see Roberto. Welcome Mr. Gustavo and the dog. En el otro lado ando. Okay, because yesterday he was very happy there with you. Mr. Isaías, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Miss Dora Alicia, welcome. Hello. Hello. Miss Ana Beatriz, welcome to the class. Hello. Hello, Mr. Sergio Rodrigo. Hello, Miss. Good it's, evening. It's nice to see you. Hello, Jari. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Elmer. How are you? Good evening. Hi, it's nice to see you. Hello, Robert. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to see you tonight. Uh, we were saying hello to you before. Hello, Yolanda, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Hello, Veronica, how are you doing? Hello, teacher. Hello, Yesenia, hello, Walter, and... I think I am not missing anybody. Hello, Roberto. No, Roberto, we say hello to Roberto. Hello, Ana Beatriz as well. We said hello to her. Well, it's a new day. It's a new opportunity to learn something new, right? So today we are going to continue a little bit on uh, the topic that we started yesterday. That was, what was the topic of yesterday? Let's see if you remember. Uh-huh. Checking on the notes, right? Huh? The yeah. transportation. Uh -huh. The transportation. What else? Family members. Family, Family members. members. Good. Very good. What else? Sentences with family members, right? We did sentences with family members. We talk about transportation. And for sure, we were creating sentences with the family tree. Okay. Thank you for the ones that are just joining the class. I am very, very happy to see all of you here. It is a great pleasure for me to start another class. Hello, Mr. Jose Moises. Welcome. Adriana, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Well, we're going to start the class by making a little challenge to see who is going to make it. Be careful with the headphones, okay? Nadie va a salir corriendo con los audífonos puestos. Okay, good. <laughs> show me, show me, okay, show me, muestrenme. Show me something important for you. Show me something important for you. Ha, ah, very good, the cell phone, right? <laughs> what is something important for you? What is something important for you? Show me something, show me in the camera. Something important for me. The phone, because I need it. The keys, right? <laughs> Very good. The wallet, because of the money, right? Good. Aha. Uh -huh. What is that? Makeup, Dora Alicia? <laughs> it's important for the ladies. It's important. Good. So you were showing me the cell phone there. Good. Very good. The dog. <laughs> That's another dog, Gustavo. <laughs> My God, Gustavo has a complete <laughs> zoo there. Hey, Gustavo, that's another dog. Yesterday we had- Yes, I have had three a... dogs. Ah, that's why. Good. Now, I need you to show me, show me something white. Something white. Hey, my God, something white. Good, the notebook, good. Ah, a page. Something white. Good. Now, I need you to show me 
something red. Something red. Huh? Good, the chili. <laughs> the shoe. Go on. Okay, Vanessa, what is that? Hello, teacher. What is it? ¿Qué fue lo que me mostraste? Eh, no sé cómo se le dice, es donde se pone el mouse. Ah, a mouse pad. A mouse pad. Mouse pad. A mouse pad. Good. The last one. Show me something yellow. Something yellow. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Isaías, what is that? <laughs> the tambodegas, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm feeling Ah, un servilletero. Good, good. Okay. Good. Hey, Roberto, you didn't show me anything yellow. Yellow? Let me see. I have, I have many things. Let me see. Yellow? Exactly, uh -huh. behind you, you have the wall. <laughs> you have a pillow, Adriana, how cool, very good. It's a boat? Oh, a boat, a, a boot, boot. Boot, okay. sorry. Ma Mauricio, boot. what is that? It's a shirt. Ah, it's a shirt, good, very good. Excellent, <laughs> there you go. Fantastic, okay. I, I put you to, to look for things for a little bit. Okay, Jose Moises, what did you show me that was yellow? Oh. Nothing. <laughs> the wall. <laughs> well, it's white. Nothing. Oh, your pencil. Good, your pen. That's very good. Excellent. Well, that was very good job. Right, the ruler. Thank you, Doralisa. Very nice. Well, let's move on business. We're going to go over what we started yesterday. And for sure, we were talking about family members, right? And we did this big list of family members yesterday. And we were going to use possessives, right? Now, talking about possessives, can you give me one real example from your life? I told you yesterday to do it. Give me one example of your family using possessives. Good. There you go. Um, okay, I'm very sorry if I silent you, but it is for a matter of respect for the group. Here, um, we can say, uh, to give an example, right, with the possessives, similar to the examples that we did yesterday, but use your name, okay? And the name of a family member. Let's write it here. You can tell me one example and I can write it for everybody. I am going to give you one of my family members and I will say, um, Ernesto is not this father. Make your sentence. What is the name of your father? So you replace Ernesto, you replace Nati for your name and father is the same thing. Okay, let me see. Gustavo, can you give me your example? What is the name of your father? Hey, my name is father is Peter. Okay, Pedro. okay Peter, to make it sound like, like the Spider-Man thing. Peter is... Gustavo's father, okay? Peter is Gustavo's father. Pedro es el papá de Gustavo, right? Ana Beatriz, what is the name of your father? The hey, um, What is the name of your mother? Rosa. Rosa. So you say here, Rosa, is Anna's mother, okay? What about Vanessa? What is the name of your mother? Nelly. Melly. Melly is... No, Nelly, con N. Nelly, oh, Nelly, con double L. Yes. Nelly, like the singer. Nelly is... Vanessa's mother. Vanessa's mother, good, very good. 
Vanessa's, okay, double S, Vanessa's mother. Now for the rest, I am going to ask you, but you are going to give me an example. Roberto, what is your example? My example. Yes, sorry, sorry. Someone told me teacher, but I didn't listen who was it. Uh, Veronica, yes? Sorry. Dice una consulta porque se le pone la S al final de los nombres. Okay, that's a very good question because it is a possessive. Because it means possession. Significa que el algo es de alguien. Yeah. Okay. Um, Roberto, give me your example and then I can make the example for Veronica. Uh, you can use the name of your mother or your father. My name of my father is Robert. Uh -huh. So you say, Robert, how do you complement the sentence? Robert is? The, uh, Robert's father. Okay, Robert is Roberto's father. And I am going to explain how how you make it. For example, and this is for everybody. Here, you have the verb to be, okay? Aquí tenemos el verbo to be en la oración. Tenemos Roberto, eh, in this case, Robert is Roberto's father. Here, we have the verb to be. Así que no podemos pensar que esta que tenemos aquí es el verbo to be, porque lo pueden confundir, pero no es así. Esto significa posesión, que algo es de alguien. And in this case, it's a Robert is Roberto's father. Es el papá de quién? Del que tiene el posesivo. Roberto. Okay. Nelly is Vanessa's mother. La mamá de quién? De Vanessa. Okay. Ro Rosa is Anna's mother. La mamá de quién? ¿Quién tiene el posesivo en esta oración? Ana. Ana. Ajá. Ana. And what about this one? It says, ay, Peter is Gustavo's father. ¿De quién es el papá? Gustavo. De Gustavo, Gustavo, right? It's like, for example, if I say this one, it's the same use. If I say, for example, Nati's shoes. ¿De quién son los zapatos? De Nati. de Nati. And if you want to make a complete sentence, you say, they are Nati's shoes. Okay, they are Nati's shoes. If you want to make a complete sentence, right? They are Nati's shoes. But you can only say Nati's shoes. Or imagine if you are talking about a car, you say, hi, Miss Car. Okay, de quien es el carro? Jaime. 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 Okay. Ese es el uso del posesivo. No sé si, si les contesto la pregunta, Verónica. Yes. Okay. Sí. And it's good. It's good. Any curiosity that you haven't said, like, but why? Why do you have an S? Why do you have an apostrophe? Okay. And in this case, you have to be very careful. That is not the verb to be because the verb to be is here in the sentence, right? Ernesto is not his father. In this case, it's the possessive form of the sentence. It is exactly as what we were doing here yesterday, right? When we were talking about the family members, right? Paul is Anne's, and then you have here husband was, I think. Jason is um, Anne's brother. Right? When we were making the different relationships with the family. Right? This is what we were doing yesterday. Let's just take this a little bit forward because we're going to move into the topic of the night. That it's simple present. Here, I have a very short conversation that we're going to practice. And for this one, I am going to read it first for you to listen for pronunciation. And then we're going to practice together. Okay? Yeah, in practice. Good, very good. Okay. So listen right now for pronunciation. Before I read, I have to ask you something. Do you know all the words in this paragraph? ¿Se saben todas las palabras que están presentadas aquí? 
Yes. Read it. Yes. Which ones you don't know? Teacher, what's the meaning of? Teacher. Uh -huh. What's the meaning word? Suburbs. Ah. Suburbios. Suburbios es el centro de la ciudad o el lugar más popul populoso. I think it's the word in Spanish. The, the most populated place, right? In the Is the same downtown? Downtown, uh -huh. yeah. in the suburbs. Very good. Uh, it's a, like, is her job in the suburbs? Uh, in this case, uh, no, sorry. It is not the same as downtown, right? Los suburbios, in this case, is where you have a lot of people there working. Ah, yeah. Right yeah. in the server. Downtown is the center of the city. Okay, so that's the difference. Any other question? Any other question? Or do you know all the rest? I have a, I have a other question. Uh huh. I have near, another question. You say yes. Near is is significa cerca. Yes. No. Near, this one. Near cerca. Yes. Okay, it's okay. Good, any other one? I think the other ones are very common, common words, right? It says, okay, let's go over, let's go over the conversation. It says, nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. It's her new job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Cualquier parecido con la realidad, it's mere coincidence. <laughs> the buses here are very slow too, right? Practice with me. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Nice, nice, car. Car. nice car, Jason. Is it it's yours? Is it yours? Is it yours? Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. No, no it's, my, it's sister. my sister's. She has a new job. She has a new yeah. job. And she drives to work. And, and she, she drives, drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? Is her, her job, job here in the suburbs? suburbs? No, it's downtown. No, no it's, it's downtown. downtown. My parents work downtown. But they don't drive to work. They don't drive to work. They use public transportation. They use public transportation. Public. 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 Public transportation. Public transportation. The bus or the train? The bus or the train. The train doesn't stop near our house. The, the train, train doesn't, doesn't stop near, near, our, house. near our house. So they take the bus. So they take the bus. It's really slow. It's really slow. That's too bad. That's too bad. Okay. So... It is important when you read a, a paragraph or anything in English that you take care of the punctuation because that is going to give you the idea where to stop and how to pronounce. That's why I was marking because maybe in the same paragraph here when we're talking about Jason, he's like, no, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work, okay? Justo cuando encuentren la puntuación, ahí tenemos que hacer unas pequeñas pausas. Eso les va a ayudar un montón para que ustedes vayan, inton vayan entonando el inglés correctamente. ¿Por qué? Porque el inglés no tiene acentos. Ustedes le tienen que dar ese baile en la entonación. So you say, like, 
in Spanish, we don't have the intonation because everything is flat. Okay, el español es bien, bien lineal. Y podemos decir miles de cosas sin siquiera mover la boca. Si decimos, por ejemplo, sí, te vi ayer en Metrocentro, pero vos no me hablaste. And it's just a line of sentences. But in English, you say like, yes, yesterday I went to Metrocentro and I saw you, but you didn't talk to me. Maybe you didn't see me. Right? You are like, you see the, the fluctuation of the intonation in English is different. So we need to be very careful with that. In this case, you say no, right? No, it's my sister's. Aquí tienen un punto. She has a new job. Aquí hay una coma. Hay que hacer una pausa. And she drives to work. Aquí hay un punto. You have to stop. Okay? So, when you practice the conversations, you don't say, nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. It's not possible. Okay? We have to make the proper intonation. You say, nice car, Jason. You have an exclamation mark. Si se fijan, ahí tienen un signo de exclamación. So, no me pueden decir, nice car, Jason. Because you are not showing me that you are excited about that. Like, happy birthday. I wish you the best. <laughs> no, right? You have to show me what you are mentioning. It's like, happy birthday. Because you are excited about it. The first sentence. Nice car, Jason. Nice car, Jason. Can you repeat with me? Nice car, Jason. 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 Is, is it yours? It is, it is, it is yours. yours. Is, is it, it yours? yours? It is, is it yours? yours? Y ahí le ponen la duda, vea. Is it yours? Is it yours? It is yours? No. 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 It's my sister's. No. It's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. She, she has, has a new job. job. She drives to work. work. Is her job here in the suburbs? Is her job here in the suburbs? And here yeah. you go up. Aquí la intonación se va para arriba. Right? You say, is her job here in the suburbs? Is her job here is in the suburbs? In the suburbs? Is, is Very good. Job. And it says, her no, it is not. Right? No, it is no, downtown. It's, no, it's, it's downtown. downtown. My parents no, downtown. work downtown, but they Martin's don't drive to work. work down. yeah. My, parents My parents work downtown, downtown but they don't they drive, don't to, drive work. To, to work. Okay. When you say, but, right, you have to make it specific, like, pero, Ellos no manejan, right? My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. Uh -huh. They use my public... parents. Go, 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 go. Vamos, dale. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. My parents, my parents work downtown, work but downtown. they don't they drive, don't to, drive work. to work. They use public transportation. They use public transportation. Public. Public. The bus or the train? And you have two options. The bus, the bus or the train? The, 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 the bus or the train? The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. The train, the train doesn't stop near our house. house. So, so, so Aquí so es como but, it's like, but they don't drive to work. It's like, so they take the bus. So they take the bus. It's really slow. It's really slow. Okay, si algo no le gusta, no me van a decir, it's really slow, yay. No, right, because it's like, it's really slow, my God. It's like, come on. It's like, I don't have money. Woohoo! No, right. It's like, I don't have money today. Come on. Because you are angry about it. But the first one is like, nice car, Jason. Because you are affirming something that it's good. And the last one that says, that's too bad. 
that that's too bad. Too bad. Okay, y lo tienen que sentir, no va a decir, uh, imagine that I say, eh, uh, you see, my cat died. Okay, se me murió el gato. Imagine that I say that. My cat died. Can you say like, oh, teacher, that's too bad. Oh my God, that's too bad. I say like, hey, that's too bad, teacher, I'm sorry. Because imagine if you say, yeah, yes, teacher, that's too bad. Another cat. No, that, that will make me feel bad. That's too bad. Okay, so I need two volunteers to practice this conversation. I need a Ashley and a Jason. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and? And who? Another one? I need another one. Volunteers. Okay, Mauricio, go ahead. One, two, three. Action. Nice Next. car, Jason. It... Eh, no sé si él va a ser Ashley no, o no. Jason. No, no. He's Jason. He's por Jason. eso comencé yo. Yeah, if not, with, with, imagine if he's Ashley, we'll be like, nice car, Jason. Yeah. Jason. <laughs> ¿Puedo ser uh, Jason? Okay, Roberto, you're going to be Jason in the next one, okay? Right now, uh, you're going to be Jason in the next one with Ana Beatriz. Right now, we have Mauricio and Vanessa, okay? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, Mauricio, uh, no, Vanessa, you start. Okay. Nice car, Jason. It is yours. No. No. It's my, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> okay, uh, Roberto, go ahead, Mauricio. Maybe después. Go ahead, Roberto. Okay. <laughs> sorry, Mauricio. Jason. No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. It's your time. <laughs> it's her job. Continue, Vanessa. Okay. Is her job here in the server? Continue, Roberto. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use they... public transportation. Ay, lo siento, no lo había visto. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Continue, continue, Robert. Ah. The bus? Jason. The bus of, or the bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. I siempre me quedo. It's okay, it's okay. And you finish, Jason. That's too bad. Very good. Excellent. Yay. Reactions for your friends, please. Come on. Reactions for your friends. That was good. Okay, okay. Good. Very good. Mándenle, mándenle. Hay unas reacciones a sus compañeros. Very good. Thank you very much. Good. Now, Mauricio and Ana Beatriz, go ahead. Action. One, two, okay, okay. <laughs> One, two, three, action. Nice car, Jason. It is your? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job? Here in this suburb? Oh, it, it is downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or train? The train. Don't, the train don't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. Mauricio. 
That's the oh, question. That's the ball. <laughs> okay. okay, very good. Reactions for your friends. Very good. Ok, sabemos que no es fácil de repente decir, sí, voy a hablar inglés en frente de todos mis compañeros. Yeah, but it's good. I mean, take the lead, take the risk. Don't feel afraid. Ok, aquí estamos todos para aprender. Let's have two extra volunteers. Let me see. I am going to pick the smiliest person of the class. Ah. I will lie, teacher. There you go, you see? That's fantastic. And I need a boy. Uh -huh. A boy, a boy. Democratically. <laughs> Let me see the boys. I can see that Sergio Rodrigo wants to participate. I see it in your face. Go ahead. <laughs> Sergio, you are Jason. Okay. And remember, okay, no. hey, where is my Ashley? Okay. Ashley, where are you? ¿Qué se me hizo la... Jenny. Ah, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Ok, no te hallaba. There you go. Jenny <laughs> and Sergio. One, two, three. Action. Nice car, Jason. It is yours. No. Ay, se me está apagando la compra. <laughs> oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. No. This is my sister. She has a new... She uh -huh. has a new job. And she drives to work. Continue. Is her job here in the summer? Uh -huh. No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. It is really slow. Ah, no sé. Okay, Sergio. The, no, the... se me pareció algo aquí y ya no, no veo. <laughs> okay, that's too bad, you say. That's too bad. Okay, very good. Reactions for your friends. Very, very, very nice. Very good. Excellent job, my dear students. Very good. So, in the questions, remember, you don't say it is yours. You say, is it yours, right? Is it yours? And the pronunciation, suburbs, suburbs, parents, parents, right? Parents, it's not parents, okay? No quiero que vayan a andar por ahí por el mundo diciendo parents, porque eso no es del señor, okay? It has to be parents, parents, no. Parents, yes. Okay. Public, public. Public, no. Okay. Public, no. That's not from God. Eso no viene del Señor. Decir, <laughs> decirlo así. You say public, public. Public transportation, parents, suburbs. And is it yours, right? The verb goes at the beginning here. In this case, the verb to be. You say, is it yours? Good. Sentences like this one. And these are going to give us the starting point for uh, the topic that we're going to study today. And I know that maybe you have studied this a little bit before. When you say, she has a new job, right? She drives to work. Uh, the next one, my parents work. Uh, they don't drive. The train doesn't stop. All of these are examples of simple present. Simple present are just sentences in present that talk about activities that we normally do every single day. For example, you say, she has a new job. The verb, right, the subject, sorry, the verb and the complement. If I say, my parents work downtown, the subject, the verb and the complement. But for example, when you say, she drives to work, Aquí, ¿qué cambio le ven al verbo? S. Exactly like that, right? You add the S and you do this on the verb for the third person. Oh. You have to be very careful not to confuse this with the plurals, okay? Because I know that you studied the plurals in the previous module, yes or no? 
or you have to start, you have studied the plurals before, but we need to be very careful because this one is for the verbs. Okay, we're going to use the simple present with the verbs. And just to give a quick introduction to the topic, we have a, just some questions just before we go. And for us to recall this topic, what type of transportation do you normally use? You can say, I travel by train, I use my car, I use my motorcycle, I walk. What type of transportation do you normally use? Car. Ha, huh, but you say like, I use the car. Okay, to have a complete sentence. Any other example? I normally walk. I normally walk. Right? I walk in this case. I walk. Another example? I use my motorcycle. I use my motorcycle, right? I ride my motorcycle. And in this case, you are using sentences in simple present, right? I use my car. I walk. I ride my motorcycle. What time do you start working? What time? Do you start working? At 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. At 7. Good. In my case, I 8 o'clock. At 8. Good. Very good. What time do you start working? Let me see. Elmer. I start the work at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Very good. Jenny? I start to work at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. Good. Jairo? Oh, I cannot listen to you. No sé por qué no te puedo escuchar, Jairo. No. Oh, there you go, maybe. <laughs> Try. No. <laughs> ok. Quizás eh, probar la configuración de tu audio, tal vez lo puedes volver a intentar. Ok, I will come back later. Jolivet, what time do you start working? I start work at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. Good. Yes. And the last question. What is your mother's name? Let's see. I am going to choose Gustavo. What is your mother's name? My mother's name is Julia. Julia. Okay, Julia. Good. So with these examples, I can move and I can jump to the next part of this topic, the simple present. So the simple present tense are everyday actions that we develop, right? We are clear with that, everyday actions that we develop. What is the only difference? With the simple present, we change the verb for he, she, and it, that are the third person singular. For the third person singular, in this case, he, she, and it, you are going to transform the verb with an S, right? For the interrogative forms, you are going to use does, right? And for the negative forms, you are going to use doesn't, right? It is the way that we use it. And here I have a little chart that represents that. For the other subjects, you use it in the normal form. You say, I work, you work, we work, you work, they work. Do I work? Do you work? Do they work? Do you work? Right? I don't work. You don't work. But for he, she, and it, you say, he doesn't work. Right? We don't work and they don't work work. So for simple present, we need to keep in mind that we use 
simple verbs in the simple form of activities that we use every single day. I have here some, we're going to create some examples. What are everyday actions that we do? Give me verbs of things that we do every day. I am going to give you the first one. Eat. What else do you do every day? ¿Qué son cosas que hacemos todos los días? Sleep. Sleep. I take a shower. Uh -huh. Take a shower. What else? In my work, I read many emails. Read emails. What else? Check Facebook. Check Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that's an everyday thing, right? Check Facebook. Study in the university. I study. Good. What else do we do every single day? Check email. Which one? I didn't. I didn't listen for uh, carefully. I mean, I need you to repeat. What is another activity that you do every day? Cool. Check emails. Text. Pizza, breakfast. Which Drink one? Drink water. Drink water. <laughs> okay, for sure. Drink water. What else? Drink water. Uh huh. Give me another activity that we do every single day. Play with my dog. Play with my dog. Good. You have a very good example right now. Okay, listen to music. Good. What else? What else? What else? Thinking. Sorry, can you repeat? Exercise. 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 Watch TV. Watch TV. What else? Give me more. I'm going to pick um, them later. Um, okay. Arrive home. Arrive home. For take sure. Her to, take our English class. You take your English class. You clean for sure. You take classes. You take classes and for sure you uh, share time with family, right? Share time with family. Those are the different activities that we do every day. And if we consider every single activity that we do since the very beginning of the morning, woo, we are going to have a complete like 1000 verbs list. So here I am going to make it a little bit smaller so we can actually fit everything. Let me just move here. Let me see. I am going to fix it here to fix this into different columns. So we can have it there. Good, very good. So these are everyday actions that we do. Si las pensáramos desde que nos levantamos a las seis, cinco de la mañana, eh, all the activities that you do by the time, imagine at six in the morning, I wake up. At 6.05, I take a shower. Then I put my clothes. Then I drink, uh, sorry, I take breakfast. Then I go to work. I take the bus. I pay the bus. <laughs> there are many activities that you do every single day. Okay? Si las pensamos una por una de todas las acciones que hacemos, imagínense el listado que nos saliera. Desde que abro la puerta, salgo a la calle, camino al bus, me subo al bus, pago el bus, me siento en el bus, platico con alguien. Woo, there will be like woo, a thousand of activities. But right now we're going to use these ones. It is important to remember how we transform the verbs. And that's why I have here the simple present tense form of this. I am going to show you how to transform the verbs 
in order to have them in simple present. We have positive sentences and negative sentences. I have here, I like cheese, we like cheese, you like cheese, they don't like cheese. He likes cheese, she, you say don't or doesn't for he, she, and it. Doesn't. Aha, uh -huh. so you have to be very careful, right? Not to confuse this one. You use don't for I, you, we, and they. But for he, she, and it, you say doesn't. You don't like cheese, right? Affirmative and negative sentences. For the he, she, and it, you make the change in the verb, okay? So you make a change on the verb. Here I have some examples of the questions, how you use the questions in simple present. For this one, it's easy because you take the verb at the beginning, right? The auxiliary do here, say, do I like cheese? Do you like cheese? Do we like cheese? And in this case, it doesn't change. For he, she, and it, it is going to change the auxiliary, okay? Not the verb. No podemos decir, does he likes cheese? Porque estaríamos ocupando double third person. So you say, does he like cheese? Does she like cheese, right? Does it like cheese? And that's the way we do it. On the answers, we can say for the affirmatives, yes, I, we, they, you and do. Yes, I do. Or yes, he, she, it does. Depending on the subject that you are using. Yes, she does. For this one, you say, no, I don't. For the negatives, you say, no, I don't. No, she doesn't. Right? For the negatives, you cannot say, no, she don't, because that would be incorrect. Y tampoco podemos decir, yes, I doesn't, porque también sería incorrect. You say, yes, I do, yes, she does. And for the negatives, no, I don't, no, she doesn't. If I ask you, for example, do you like pupusas? Do you like pupusas? Use one of the answers. I am asking you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, yes, right? I do. Yes, I, yes do. I do. Is there someone who doesn't like pupusas? No? Okay, I have only Salvadorians here. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, si alguien me dice aquí que no le gustan las pupusas. No, you are from another country. Because here in El Salvador, that is an everyday thing. <laughs> Do you like pacaya? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't you say. No, I don't. Uh, Do you like papaya? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you like isote flour? No. Yes, I, I do. No, yes, no, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Quien me dijo, yes, I do. Yeah, it's the national yes. flower. Don't eat the national flower. No. Come on. Okay. No andan por el mundo comiendo torogoses. Or, or do you? No, right? No. <laughs> no. No andan mordiendo la bandera. No, right? So please don't eat the national flower. <laughs> Yeah, I know it might be delicious, but don't eat the national flower. Do you like cats? Meow, meow. Yes, I do. Yes, I love. No, I don't. Cats. No, I, I don't. don't. Vanessa, you don't like cats. She was like. Mm. Ah, a, li a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> So, so, you say, so, so. Tell me, does your mother, does your mother like Facebook? 
Yes, she does. Yes, she does. <laughs> yes, she does, right? And it's like, hey, mom, look, a meme. I saw it already. <laughs> oh, come on, you say, oh. <laughs> She's very technological. Do you like video games? Yes, I do. Yes I, do. yes I do yes i do yes i do yes i do right yes i do too i love video games let me see do you like homework no i don't yes i do yes i love homework you have to say uh, gi give me more homework teachers <laughs> yes i do well so the simple present, we use it to talk about things that we do all the time, as I was explaining you, right? The, I get the service bus at 7 every morning. John brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. I play football and my sister goes sailing on weekends. So these are normal activities or habits, right? Things that we do every single day, as all these examples that we have here. So. They are things that are always true, right? We use the present simple to talk about things that are always blue, that are always blue, <laughs> true, <laughs> sorry. The sky is blue, okay, see or no? Is it true? Yes, yes right, it's true. The earth goes round the sun, yes or no? O es al revés? No, right? The earth goes around the sun. And that's true. I am a student. Yes or no that you are a student? Yes, it's true. True, right? It's true. Yes. Right? The CEV is on the Asian side of Istanbul. It's like, I don't know, teacher, but it sounds true. And it is true, right? It is, a, it's like a city. Tigers are big cats. Yes or no? Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true, yes. right? Yes. The school starts at eight in the morning and finishes at three. Well, no, but the class here starts at eight and it finishes at nine. And that's true. Okay. But it's not a.m. It is at eight p.m. And that it's true, right? The school starts at eight and finishes at night. And those things are always true. So that's simple present to talk about everyday things. How do you make it? The changes are very similar to the changes that you use in the plurals. ¿Se recuerdan las reglas de transformación de plurales? Más o menos? Mm -hmm. ¿O oh, no? Estábamos de noche ahí en la clase. Yeah, we are yes. at night <laughs> in the yes. class. Come on. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All the verbs, all the verbs that end in CH, S, SH, O, X, you have to add ES. Okay. Yeah. If the normal verb ends in CH, S, SH, O, or X, you are going to add ES to the verb for he, she, and it, okay, mm -hmm. only. Watch, si se fijan, termina con CH. Watch, in the simple present form, it's going to be watches. Aquí no nos referimos a los relojes. We are referring to the verb, watch, watches. Guess, guesses. Finish, finishes. Go, goes. Fix, fixes. Okay? And if the verb ends in Y, and I'm going to make it bigger, Y and it has a consonant before, it changes to IES, ¿ok? Si tienen uno terminado en Y, tienen una consonante antes, lo vamos a cambiar a IES, 
Okay. Study. Yes. Uh, your PowerPoint is in let's practice. Sorry. Uh, your PowerPoint uh -huh. is in 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 the part of uh, topic is let practice because I can see only that. Okay. Ah, come mm -hmm. on. <laughs> Hi, kids, why don't you tell me? And I have been okay. talking and talking and talking about the PowerPoint. Come on. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I am very sorry for that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I am going to go over everything again. So, sorry. Yo aquí enseñándoles todo así bien emocionada. All these verbs are the ones that you created, right? All these verbs uh -huh. are everyday activities, right? Everyday activities that we do every single day. Eat, sleep, take a shower, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? I was showing you this one, right? That are the positive and the negative sentences. For example, I like cheese. He likes cheese, right? The example that I gave you. They don't like cheese. It doesn't like cheese okay and i was explaining you explaining you this one the questions with do and does okay i am very sorry for that because my uh, powerpoint didn't change to the next one and it says do i like cheese does he like cheese this is the example that i was giving you normal habits right that it's the one that i was explaining you and for sure the ones that are always true. Here are the rules that I was reading. Okay, yo bien emocionada leyendo las, las reglas y no se las estaba mostrando. Say, the verbs ending in CH, S, SH, O, and X, you have to add ES. Right? Watch, watches, guess, guesses, finish, finishes, go, goes, fix, fixes. Okay? This is for the verbs, not for plurals, okay? And the verbs ending in Y with a consonant before, si terminan en Y con una consonante antes, la vamos a cambiar a IES. For example, study, studies. Carry, carries. Fly, flies. And all these are verbs, okay? These are the two main rules for the verbs. The other ones, you only add S or ES if it's necessary. We are going to go here for these verbs. How do you transform these ones into simple, uh, simple present? For he, she, and it. ¿Cómo los cambiaríamos a simple present? Todos estos verbos. It's uh -huh. it's Stay. we have I'm going to make it bigger for you to see it. It sleeps Stay. takes Stay. Aquí el único que transformamos es el verbo That's takes uh, reads is, emails is, check, check. Checks, checks Facebook <laughs> What study. about this? Study. Studies. Studies, right? Yeah. What about this one? Cooks. Cooks. Text. Text. Sense. Sense. Drinks. 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 Plays. Plays. Listen. Listen. What about this one? Exercise. 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 Yes. What? Arrive. Arrive. Clean. Clean. Take. Share. 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 Right. Shares time with the family. So you say, um, I know Isaías eats breakfast in the morning, right? And that's a sentence with simple present. 
Ana Beatriz sleeps in the afternoon. Hmm. That's a simple I present then. You take a nap, right? Vanessa takes a shower at five in the morning. Let's see. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. You... <laughs> Abdiel checks Facebook all the time. Carlos studies the lesson. <laughs> Abdiel, do you check Facebook all the time? Mm, check Instagram. Uh, you check Instagram. Okay. Elmer cooks dinner for his wife. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, very good. Y la esposa atrás. No. <laughs> What about the next one? Hey, Gustavo. Hey, hey, I was just giving the example. Gustavo plays with his dogs. Adriana listens to music in the morning. Jenny exercises every day. Mauricio watches TV in the night. Veronica arrives home early. Walter cleans his bedroom. And Jari takes English classes at night. Okay, so for tomorrow, I need you to investigate a little bit more on the simple present rules. Okay, investigate a little bit of rules for the simple present because we are going to continue having more exercises, okay? Tomorrow, the ones who are going to make the exercises are you, okay? Hoy los ejercicios los estaba complementando yo. Mañana los ejercicios los complementan ustedes, okay? So, read a little bit of simple present, investigate online about it, and we're going to use it tomorrow in class, okay? My dear students, it's time to go, but I am going to be waiting for you tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a beautiful night. Rest a lot. And I am going to see you in the next class. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.